everyone. Meet Steve. What up, what up? What up? You remember Steve from the Speed Goat 50K. Oh yeah. A year ago. Oh man, good morning everyone. How we doing? How are you? I'm getting a little refill on the coffee and today is an easy day. That is what I'm talking about. The legs are feeling pretty good. They're not, not no uh, sharp pain, so that's a good sign. Uh, just general tired uh, tiredness, which is to be expected after the race on Saturday, all the vertical I'm doing. Uh, but the massage is, so I get a massage once a week. Someday, down the road, I wouldn't mind bumping that up to twice a week when we got a few more pennies to spend. But right now, once a week is uh, helping a lot just to keep everything <laughs> happy down there. All the let, you know, all the major muscles, but also the small muscles as well. So anyway, I uh, got a massage yesterday, but today I'm going easy because tomorrow is the biggest workout of this condensed training block. So this block is about seven to eight weeks because uh, I started July 1st and the race is August 24th. So anyway, I'm just like trying to be nimble and uh, patient in uh, understanding like what I'm putting my legs through in this condensed training block. So anyway, I'm going to go sip a little more coffee and roll out if you know what I mean. Get that stretching going and then go jog it out nice and easy on a, uh, on a grass soccer field. So, okay, here we go. Trigger point. Oh man. Although, you know what? I need to buy a regular foam roller sooner rather than later. Uh, cause this trigger point really gets the triggers and sometimes you just need to warm up on a foam roller that's a little more gentle if you know what i mean but this does feel good Uh, before taking out today's shoes, got to put these guys away, staying organized. The Solomon Super Crosses. All right, we are. We're ready to go. Get this easy run on. And the Sun 25 watch is treat me well. I must say, though, I, uh, you know, I've heard some not so good reviews about wrist heart rate monitors, uh, getting it right from your wrist. And sure enough, like it is bouncing all over the place. So I'm not surprised that people are a little, and I guess you can try and fine tune it by placing it in a different spot, placing the watch anyway. I'm not, as you know, I don't train by heart rate, but I'll probably turn that uh, feature off. It's been kind of fun to look at it over the past couple of days up in the mountains, but sometimes it'll be at 183 on the downhill, and then it'll be at like 160 on the uphill. So I'm like, eh, eh, eh. anyway, that's part of the reason why I just, uh, I just keep it simple. Keep it simple in this world. All right, let's rock and roll out the door. Don't forget the GoPro and away. We go. And we're back. You know what this means. Oh, yeah. Recovery, recovery, so critical. Nine minute pace, it's my recovery pace. Ah, feels good, feels good. That grass was amazing. Oh, gotta, gotta keep at it, keep on those soft surfaces.
we're back from the pool feeling good. Even compared to eight hours ago, my legs, after foam rolling, stretching, jogging on the grass, uh, getting in the pool, doing all those little things, it's like, oh, they just feel so much better. So that's a good sign for tomorrow's work workout on Pike's Peak. Okay, here's the deal. I think we just uh, accomplished, in fact, I know we did, accomplished the first uh, successful running shoe scholarship where someone from Nepal, that's right near the Himalayas, someone from Nepal approached me maybe about a month or a month and a half ago and said, I need help. And so I sent him an application, uh, asked him to send me photos of his running shoes. And yes, here they are on your screen right now. And basically, uh, he, he, we talked back and forth on Facebook. And at the end of the day, uh, another gentleman on Instagram reached out and said, hey, I would love to help someone else get a new pair of running shoes. So basically, uh, we connected them. And uh, shout out to Dustin for buying some new shoes. And here they are on your screen, sending them, buying them in the States, and then getting them shipped all the way to Nepal. It was quite the uh, process and a lot of coordination, probably a couple hours of back and forth email, but we got it done. So it's so exciting. Like this is what YouTube is all about, in my humble opinion, getting people out the door, uh, inspired to get out the door. And at the end of the day, like we need shoes. Like, you know, I know you can run in sandals or barefoot even on grass, but like if you really want to train, you got to get some shoes on your feet. So it's an exciting day. Again, shout out to Dustin and then the gentleman in Nepal. Um, it's just, I don't know what else to say other than it's happening. And in time, we'll continue to do this as frankly, I get a little more help in the coordination. I just, yeah, yeah, time, time is of the essence, if you know what I mean. Okay, I am packing up, getting ready to go Damn to Colorado, Colorado Springs. Springs. Uh, I'm gonna sleep uh, at, in Manitou Springs, which is at the base of Pikes Peak. So I'm just getting coordinated here. And yes, I will talk to you about my racing singlet here in a minute. All right, here it is. Can't forget my uh, running shoes for tomorrow. <laughs> Those are the race day shoes. These are the training shoes. You come on out of there. You come on out of there. Yeah. Taking a risk, a little bit of a risk here. So I love this singlet from Rabbit. It's a brand new singlet. However, I do think, and I'm not using the right terminology here, I do think that they could reduce a little bit of the fabric on the, basically the edges of the singlet. And so I'm gonna do a little bit of surgery here on my new rabbit singlet. Just There's just a little excess, and it's not like for weight reduction, it's for comfort and a restriction of arm swing, basically. Like when I'm swinging my arms in this singlet, I can feel the seams. Uh, and again, I'm not using the right terminology, but uh, so here we go. Again, taking a little bit of a risk here uh, because I don't know what's gonna happen to the fabric, but I think it will withstand it. Sorry, rabbit, I'm just trying to perfect the product a little bit. All right, let's do this. That is amazing. It feels so much lighter, but more importantly, just less restrictive down here without, without this extra material, like just all that seam. And I realize like this is going to drop the, uh, the durability of the singlet uh, and the, uh, I guess the, the life expectancy of the singlet, but I'm telling you, it just feels so much more free and I love it. That is what I'm talking about. Sorry, sorry, rabbit. Just trying to, just trying to lighten the load and be comfortable. Oh my goodness, I love that. I love it. All right, here we go. Hitting the road. Got a banana for the road. Got my water. Gonna stop and get some food on the way. And said bye to the family. They're doing pretty good. You know, sometimes it's ups and downs when you got three little monkeys in the house. But the three little monkeys are burning energy as, as much as we can possibly uh, 
create entertainment in the backyard. So anyway, we're moving, we're moving. Uh, we made it to Colorado Springs. There is Pikes Peak off in the distance. And yes, I'm splurging a little bit, going to Whole Foods, getting my daily salad and uh, pick up some other fun treats for the big mountain adventure tomorrow. Make sure I'm well fueled for that. I've longed for this place, longed for this place for so long. Now I lay me down, I lay me down at me. So amazing, so delicious, and one of my goals is to always eat, a little tip of the day, is to always eat 12 hours before a big workout. So the goal tomorrow is to start running up Pikes Peak by 7 a.m., which is the same time that I will be uh, the start time for the race. And so my goal is always to have dinner in my stomach by 7 p.m. the night before. So it's about 6 p.m. right now. And that way I can get all the goodness, the nutrients, the everything else down into the, uh, into the body as quick as I can. So anyway, that's mission accomplished. All right, so we're almost to the destination. And real quick before you get to meet Steve, uh, let's see. So today's vlog didn't really have a focus other than I guess maybe doing a little surgery on my singlet. And yes, we'll go with we'll go with singlet for the keyword. Uh, but question of the day: How is you how is your body feeling? And I'm not asking do you have injuries. I'm asking how does your body feel? Because guess what? It's prime time for summer running, at least in the northern hemisphere. So I'm just curious to hear how you're holding up uh, through this summer training. Uh, I haven't asked this question in maybe a month or two, and it's go time, you know? And maybe you're in the, the midst of some pretty big volume getting ready for cross country if you're in high school, kind of laying that aerobic base, that foundation. So that is the question of the day. And I guess I'll just answer it real quick. I feel pretty darn good. I told the uh, lady who gives me a massage once a week that I don't have any sharp pains anywhere. That's a good thing, YouTube family. You don't want sharp pains, but I did tell her my legs feel tired. And listen, this is part of being a runner, right? So that is my, that's how I feel. My legs just feel a little tired. So I'm excited once again to continue to taper over the next two and a half weeks. All right, let's go get Steve. Where is he? Where is he? Come on, Steve. Meet Steve. What up? What up? What up? You remember Steve from the Speed Go 50K. Oh, yeah. A year ago. Welcome to the Sea Springs. That's right. Steve and I ran at CU together, so we had good old time. Good old time. It's our Airbnb for the night. This is cool, man. All right, after you. Prep. There it is. Come on. Oh, yeah. Oh man, keep an eye for 634 in the number one spot. There we go. Podium. <laughs> this is a running YouTube channel, Steve. <laughs> running. This is not cycling. Actually, Joseph Barton is running the Cirque series at A Basin oh, nice. on Saturday. Uh, we're going to call it there Woo! here in Colorado Springs because uh, we got to wake up early to train. And if you want to dive into, since today's vlog was a little bit of a smorgasbord, kind of all over the place, I'm going to pick two. Well, actually, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to pick one old random vlog on the right that is not running related, and then a more recent random vlog that is running related on the left. So click on either one of those. I'm going to hand it over to Steve to close it out. Seek beauty. Seek beauty. Work, Work hard. Love each other. See you tomorrow. <laughs> you got it.